Hello and welcome to Cooking Show. And today we are going to prepare Black Forest Cake. Yes, this is a part of our Eggless Baking Without Oven series, and it's very easy to prepare and it tastes way better than the bakeries because it's homemade and it's fresh. Fresh is always the best, and it's moist, juicy, creamy, chocolatey, just wow. So, if you think where to get the baking supplies in your city. in india then you can check my list for the stores i have made a post in my blog i'll put up the link in the description box so without a further delay let's dig in it's required for preparing this here i have the ingredients that will require to prepare our black forest cakes sponge first of all 1 cup of maida half a cup of condensed milk little bit more than 1/4 cup of butter this is about 1/3 cup or little bit less all uh, 3 tablespoons of cocoa, 1/4 cup of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, 1/4 teaspoon of um, baking soda and 1 teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So let's start baking it. Just like we did our tricolor cake, I have added about 2 cups of salt and a wire rack. Wire rack will help in making the difference between our salt and our cake tin. I am going to heat this in low flame and then we are going to prepare our cake batter. Here I have a bowl in which I'm going to prepare my wet ingredients. First of all, the butter. Now we are going to whisk this until it is light and fluffy. So let's add the sugar to this. Beat this until it is light and fluffy. So our butter and sugar is creamed really nice. Now I'm going to add in our condensed milk. beat this until it is combined really well and becomes smooth and nice so this is looking really light and fluffy and looks very good i am going to now add the dry ingredients to it what i am going to do now is sift our dry ingredients maida coco baking powder and baking soda Here you can see our dry ingredients are sifted. Now I'm going to use my spatula and incorporate this dry ingredients. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, as this is very very dry, first of all I'm going to add my vanilla. Now some milk. So little bit of milk. Here you can see our cake batter. I'm going to add warm water to it now. Actually, boiling water. We added about uh, three tablespoons of milk that time, and rest of it I'm going to add uh, water. We're going to fold this water and make it nice and good. So my cake batter is ready. You can see this is like this consistency, pouring consistency, you may say. So now let's add this to our cake tin. As we did our tricolor cake, here I have the same thing here. Stainless steel container, about seven inches, uh, lined with some oil or butter, and uh, baking paper or butter paper, and again some oil over it. Now let's add our cake batter to this tin. And now let's add this to our cooker. Here I have the cooker which is heating up from 5 minutes and don't let it heat up for more than 5 minutes. We just want to preheat and 5 minutes is more more than enough. And if it's too hot, then your cake might get burnt faster. Let's open this up. Be careful. This will be very hot. It's hot hot. Now let's add our cake batter. Oops. So uh, try to keep it in the center. After about 25 minutes, we are going to check whether it's done or not, and make sure the flame is at the lowest possible. It has approximately been 30 minutes. Let's open and check. I tested about five minutes ago. It was little bit undone. You can see our cake has risen very good. It looks very fluffy and nice. 
there are two ways one with your finger if it springs back it's ready other with a toothpick if it comes out clean it's ready i already tested it comes out clean and it's ready so don't over bake for even about two minutes your cake will get hard so uh, this is ready we are going to remove this now our cake is resting here for about five minutes now i'm going to loosen the sides let's transfer this cake into a plate so using a steel container makes it a little black don't worry you can see our cake it is a bit slanting but uh, by the icing we can easily fix that don't worry if your cake also gets a bit slant let's remove this baking paper or butter paper or parchment paper wow 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 see this so spongy and so nice let's transfer this into a cooling rack and let it cool till then let's prepare our sugar syrup whipping cream everything for this black forest cake here i have cherries these are red cherries you may also use maraschino cherries or black cherries whatever you get in a nearby supermarket uh, these are tinned cherries which usually comes in sugar syrup what i am going to do is strain the sugar syrup for our sugar syrup for cake so here we have the sugar syrup from our cherries and what we are going to do next is heat this sugar syrup with some more sugar to make it even more sweeter here i have a kadai or a pan you may use anything add the syrup to it as well as some sugar so this much will be fine enough we are going to heat this until the sugar melts we don't want to boil it and the sugar is melted and i have switched off the flame and we are going to let it cool till then let's whip our cream and prepare our chocolate shavings here i have some cream about 600 ml and i'm going to add sugar to this so this much should be fine enough if not we, we can add more at a later stage we're going to whisk this and i prefer a stainless steel bowl after whipping through to three times we're going to whisk this or whip this until it becomes soft peaks this is non dairy whipping cream i am going to keep this cream for about 15 minutes in the fridge now you can see this is soft peak after that i am going to whisk this for another 2 to 3 minutes here i have some compound chocolate i am going to make shavings out of it very easy to make take a peeler and then peel this chocolate and a plate below that so that the shavings go down everything is ready now our cream cherries these are cherries without the seeds i have removed the seeds and these are the whole cherries our chocolate shavings i have kept them in the freezer for about 10 minutes and you can see they are very fine and very good sugar syrup and our chocolate cake so let's start assembling here you can see that i have uh, cut the dome and made it flat from top and you can see the air bubbles here this cake is very soft and very airy i'm going to cut this cake into three layers now so never cut your cake directly like this like this like this do it like this i'm going to transfer this here i have a plate below that some bowls so what i'm going to do next is apply some cream here so that the cake does not moves a lot it sticks to the bottom next 
I have uh, cut it my cake into three parts and don't worry if your cake gets crumbly you can see an uh, image right now this is uh, the black forest cake which I prepared last time and it is completely crumbled from inside you can see here I have some cake crumbs which I got from my uh, middle layer which was completely broken from uh, center I'm going to show you how to complete this cake so let's sprinkle some sugar syrup to this or we may say cherry syrup usually Kish is used you can see now our sponge is completely wet and we want it like this at this moment and now I'm going to top it off with loads of cream I like loads and loads of cream inside my cake as a filling so this much will be fine now let's add some cherries As I said earlier, my middle layer is broken, you can see here. I have to be very careful at this moment. A broken cake can always be assembled or a burnt cake can always be assembled. I am going to add the crumbs here. Sugar syrup. Some cream. Now the cherries Now finally the last layer I am going to keep it upside down Now finally the cream Here you can see our cake, this is not at all even but I am going to make it even and good. Here we have our cake iced and it has got little crumbs and uh, it is not uh, so presentable at the moment so let's decorate it with our chocolate shavings, cherries and rosettes. So let's start with the rosettes first. Let's cover this with chocolate shavings. So com uh, chocolate shavings will completely cover this up. All the crumbs will be covered. So don't worry. On the sides as well. I have added chocolate shavings to the sides as well but there are a lot of excess what I am going to do is uh, lightly pat it this side as well you can see our cake completely covered with chocolate shavings now top it off with some cherries Our black forest cake is ready. Do try this and let me know how it turned out to be. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe for more of cooking shooking.